So in the second part, we're going to have a discussion about design of the power transmission system. We're going to look about the criteria for the uh, design procedure. So our example is going to be the OTN helical bevel speed reducer that consists of the gear case, the corrosion, and the shock resistance cast iron housing. This is 3000 C-phase reducers. And we have the gear and the shaft of the nickel chromium uh, molybdenum steel. Uh, normally closed breather with the multiple location is also available. We do have the double lip seals on the heat treated plunge ground shafts. And finally, we have the magnetic drain plug standards. So the design steps of the power transmission system, and it's actually going to be the same design steps for any uh, other system. We will start first with the state of the function, design requirement, and the selection criteria for this system. The selection of the basic design approach is going to be the second point. Uh, many feasible ways are available. Selection can be done by using the 10 point scale, uh, where 10 being the most desirable design we need. So as we mentioned earlier, that uh, the task presented in this session will be complete the design of the single reduction speed reducer that uses the spur gears. The steps presented will be summarized. But the decision-making hierarchy is start by collecting the data first, then uh, make a relationship between them, uh, make the models, uh, check the behavior, use the knowledge, judgment, and then we can we can take the decision. So we start with um, uh, the flowchart that uh, actually presented by Allman in 2002. We start first uh, by knowing what we are going to start first with the decision. We are going to adopt all the alternatives. We're going to uh, cover the criteria, including specification requirement and the goals. We're going to use the preference. We're going to use the, um, uh, the issue, which is the problem itself, why we need that, what is the question we're going to apply, what will be the task we're, task we're going to use for the design procedure. And then we're going to use the evaluation of the information for every single stage in order to update uh, the final decision, uh, uh, what we call the, the keys. Uh, required to take the final decision. So making a better decision makers, we need to define first what the problem is. We need to specify the goal, uh, the design activities, and the detailed plan of the design process. The alternatives by creating an option to choose from uh, as a conceptual design. Uh, then you need to evaluate performance of the uh, performance of options, and this will be the decision uh, making points of the consequences. Then we start to make some trade offs by balancing the pros and the cons. The uncertainty analysis by identifying and quantifying the major unknowns. Finally, we need to make the uh, risk tolerance by accounting of the willingness of the to accept the risk. And then we can simply make the link of the, all the decisions to make the plan. So the types of decision making can be either external decision, which depend on the customer, the client, and the end user. And also we can have the product champion, which is the influential team member. And the imputations by the gut feel, uh, multi-voting by the popular demand. And we have the pros and the cons to evaluate the strength and the weakness of our design. Also, we can do the trial and the error by prototyping and testing. And this is metrics where the selection criteria which are going to be weighed against the uh, prioritized requirements of the, uh, uh, of the decision. The two stages to concept selection are first, the concept screening. And uh, this will be a quick method to down select ideas and then use it combi to combine a various concepts or parts, and sometimes going to be good enough for a simple project. The other stage is going to be the concept selection by scoring matrix method. So after the screening matrix method, we can simply provide a better resolution than the screening by using the scoring matrix, and may have a better definition of the concepts of the, at, at this point. May want to refine or create a hierarchy of the selection criteria for our design. The decision matrix method is also termed as the PUF method. PUF concept selection as it was invented by Stuart Puff 
and known for total design and of concept selection. A, quanti a quantitative techniques using the scoring matrix to rank the multi-dimensional options of an option set. Frequently used in engineering for making decision, uh, design decisions, but also can be used to rank the investment options, the vendor options, the product options, or any other set of the multi-dimensional entities. So if I get to examine the path matrix, we can see that we have a criteria need to be um, uh, ranked from the A to F. Like the innovate, the meet scenarios, the technologically uh, feasible or not, the achievable in budget, the cultural fits, the safety, the community benefits, and the effectiveness. In the total, we are going to rank the criteria as either one or zero, or minus one if it's going to be a very negative impact. So for the point C, decision, design decision for the gear type, alternative include either using the single reduction helical gears, bevel gears, and warm, and, uh, and warm gears drives. A single reduction spur gears reducer is chosen because of its simplicity, low cost, and the smaller size. The general layout and the design details of the reducers by propose of an arrangement of the components, which can be shown later in the slide. So if we start with the steps, a step of design of the gears, you remember that we need to remind what will be the diametral pitch value, the number of the teeth for the pinion and the gear, the face width, the tangential force, and the material used to make this gear. The design of the shaft by uh, finding the input and the output for the shafts. Uh, consideration include the forces, the torque values, the bearing forces, the material selection, design factor, and extra. The shear force and the bending moment diagram should be used to uh, aid in the analysis. The bearing selection will be followed, which can be done according to the method discussed before, and also consider for the filled ready we have on the shaft uh, edge. So an example we had earlier for the uh, shaft design that including the selection of the coupling, uh, the keys uh, and the key seats and also specify the tolerances we have on either on other shaft dimensions and then work out on the final design uh, details for the shaft by the means of the drawings. Uh, the final stage usually is going to be by the drawings of the whole assembly. For example, you can make the uh, assembly of the drawing for the user. It can be shown on this diagram. Uh, we can have two shafts and two gears in order to make the single reduction. If you would like to have a double drag reduction, of course, we're going to have three shafts and four gears. So after finalizing the design, you need to critique the design and make a necessary amendment to conclude the design. So in the next video, we're going to have a design example for the uh, some of the basic calculation we need to do for the shaft and the gears.